Well, hello, YouTube. Oh, of course, we've got the Chauvin verdict back, and it's kind of like I expected it to be. I didn't think he was going to get convicted of all three counts, and I think that might be one of the things that's going to be a grounds for an appeal. And, of course, you know, we saw the cheerful adulation, and then it was turned into, after the first night, more protests again. And they've been going ever since. And now, of course, the sentencing phase is still coming up for Chauvin, as is the trial of the three other cops. It's not done yet. Meanwhile, and I cannot remember the girl's name, In this is in Columbus, Ohio, where there's been another shooting. And they're trying to literally crucify this cop who walked up, basically got to the scene, literally to get out of the car to see a 15-year-old girl trying to stab another 15-year-old girl with a knife. And of course, what happens? Well, he shoots her, saves the other girl's life, and he's a racist. Even coming down that far from the White House, from Biden's office, from Kamala Harris, from uh, Susan Rice, all the top brass. And then you got people like um, LeBron James putting, basically doxing this officer. And you're, ne you're next, you know. Really, that sounds kind of like a threat. And of course, LeBron deleted that tweet, but then he came out with kind of a half-hearted, piss-ass excuse. And it, but this is going to keep going on, folks. You know, the media is, especially in this case, so wrong on this. You had Brian Williams from NBC coming out and saying right away, why didn't he use pepper spray? Because that's lethal force. When you are when you have lethal force, you respond with lethal force. It was a defense of a third person. And even that Fox News twit Ainsley Airhead said just this morning, well, you know, and she basically sounded like a moron. She's like, well, you know, the police say they can do that. Yes, the police can do that. It's called defense of a third person. It's in pretty much every state. And it's not just for the police, Ainsley. It's also for the citizens. The, the mentality is, you know, among people like that freaking blonde moron, is that there's a separate set of laws for police versus the civilian. That's not how it is. It works the same for both. The police, it's like here in New York. It's, you know, called Article 35, which is Defense of Justification. It's the same law as that law enforcement follows, the same law as civilian uses. There's no difference. There's no difference between them. But, see, people, most people don't understand that, and so they think the cops get special rules. No, they don't. But, and of course, now this is, there's riots, and there's going to be protests everywhere, especially, and he, we had a really good one going on here in Albany, New York, just about an hour, a little more an hour south of me, there was, um, they'd set up an encampment. In the middle of the street, which I referred to as Fort Food Stamp. And, well, today, Albany police and the Albany County sheriffs took down Fort Food Stamp. And with force. And, of course, there'll, there'll be protests later tonight, I promise you. And, of course, they, the mayor, who allowed this to go on, because she's a liberal Democrat, and she's, you know, big, she's real big on uh, police hating, and even said, well, it's not up to me. The decision wasn't mine. I, I have nothing to do with it. It's all in the police department. Well, you're in charge of the police department because you appoint and hire the chief and, you know, things like that. You can fire him at will, but you're not in charge. And the reason why is plausible deniability. Well, now it's like basically what she's telling the people is, please don't be mad at me. So you have that. <laughs> and, of course, it, this is just going to progress. This is going to get worse. We're going to see more riots throughout the summer. Uh, 
Um, but it was great to watch them, you know, go through that and just tear that freaking encampment apart. Because they were warned. Several days worth. They were warned. And they these people were not leaving. We want they they gave the city a list of demands that was never gonna be met. And of course now you can watch some of the crowd. I watched some of the live ones a little while ago. And the crowd's like, well, we know who you are and we're gonna well good, you know what? Get it over with. That was one of these Black Lives Matter thugs the other day after the Chauvin verdict, uh, Hawk Newsom. You know, who's like the, one of the big instigators, basically said, "If white people don't straighten up, well, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna come for you then." Well, you know what? No offense, guys. I'm tired of the talk. Either do it or shut up and go home. You know, that's all we hear is that you're gonna do this or else. No, well, why don't you try the or else part? You ever notice why these Black Lives Matter crowds don't go out to the rural areas in places where there's gonna be basically? They're not going to be allowed because they know better. In the cities, they own the cities because you know there's no there's no resistance to them. You can't own a gun in pretty much any of these cities, and so they know damn well they can do what they like. Well, can't do that out in the country, there, boys. You know, and I mean that not in a racial sense. I mean that is in boys, men, gentlemen, things like that. So nobody gets offended. So, like I said, you're going to see more riots. You're going to see more violence. It's being organized that way. And, of course, you now have the threat of federal, federal uh, qualified immunity for law enforcement being taken away. If they do, cops are just not going to show up to work, as it's happening right now. These police departments, people are leaving and quitting and retiring left and right, and no one is replacing them. And it's, it's that whole part of that design to get federal law enforcement, DHS, the FBI, which aren't you glad Merrick Garland, the head of the Department of Justice, is now going after the Minneapolis Police Department. And of course, he mentioned that, well, it's because, you know, in our country's history, This is this whole thing to make, well, America's racist. We're all a bunch of, bunch of racists run this country and ran this country and started this country, which this goes back to the 1619 project from a couple years ago that the country really was not founded on the founding fathers. It was founded, the them was founded on a bunch of slaves that were dropped off, you know, and they're the true founders of the country. No, no, that's bullshit. Even the historians disagree with it. But that's where we're going. And they want to tear down this country completely so they can rebuild it in a socialist image and a socialist nation. And I hate to say it, but they're winning because they're, they've, they've, they've got academia, they've got Congress, they've got the courts now, at least up until most of the appeals. And it's just going to keep happening. And with that being said, YouTube, have a nice day.